Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss how to make auto complete text box by using Angular JavaScript. Here we will discuss how to use Angular JavaScript models directives to develop auto complete text box. Auto complete text box is the most user friendly user interface for a web project. Here we will develop Google like auto complete text box by using Angular JavaScript with Bootstrap. For display suggestion below the text we will use Bootstrap CSS framework. Now we have start writing code for make auto complete text box. This is my auto complete .php page and on this page we have add angular javascript library link from google hosted library and we have also add bootstrap library link from bootstrap office site. This way we have included Bootstrap and Angular JavaScript in this page. After this we have write one division tag with Angular directive like ng app is equal to my app and ng controller directive is equal to user controller. Here ng app directive tells Angular JavaScript that this is the root element of your Angular JavaScript application and the ng controller directive adds a controller to your application. Under this tag we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to country it is equal to country and ng model directive is equal to country and ng key up is equal to complete function with one argument country. Here this is our text box we want to make this text box auto complete. By this ng model directive you can bind the value of an input field like country text box to a variable created in Angular JavaScript application. Here ng key up directive tells Angular JavaScript what to do when the keyboard is used on the specific HTML element like country text box, so when we have typed something then at a time this complete function will be executed and here country is the value of this country text box by get from ng model directive is equal to country. Now we have moved to write angular javascript code, so in this first we have write variable app is equal to angular dot module with two argument. In first argument we have write my app which is name of our application and in second argument we have write blank array. This code will define an application. After this we have write app.controller with two argument. In first argument we have write user controller which is we have defined under ng controller directive and in second argument we have write function with argument like dollar scope. This will add controller in our application and the scope is a JavaScript object with properties and methods, which are available for both the view and the controller. After this we have write dollar scope dot country list is equal to array and between array we have store the all country list under this array. Here we have store all the country name in this scope country list. We can access this data in this Angular JavaScript application. Then after we want to write complete function, so for this we have writ dollar scope dot complete function is equal to function with one argument like string. This way we have defined function in Angular JavaScript and here function argument we have get from complete function argument. In this function first we have write one output variable is equal to blank array. In this variable we will store filter country name search from country list and store into this variable. After this we have write angular dot for each loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar scope dot country list and function with country argument. This code will check all the array value of country list and we can access that data by this country argument. Under this loop we have write if statement with condition like country dot to lowercase javascript function dot index of function and under this function we have write string function argument dot to lowercase function greater than equal to zero. Here this code check country data which we have get from country list and to lowercase function convert country string to lowercase and index of function search the string from this string argument which is also in lowercase. 
this index the function check if string character found under this string argument then it will return 1 which is greater than 0, so it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write output variable dot push function with one argument like country. Here this code will add current value of country will be added into this output array variable by using this push function. Now we have write dollar scope dot filter country is equal to output variable. Here we have store all output variable array data into this newly create dollar scope dot filter country. Now we have moved to write HTML code and below country text box we have write an order list tag with attribute class is equal to list group. Here list group is the class name of bootstrap library. Under this tag we have write list tag with class is equal to list group item with ng repeat directive is equal to country data and filter country and for list item text we have write two time open and close bracket and between bracket we have write country data. Here list group item is the class of bootstrap library and ng repeat directive repeats a set of html. A given number of times in this directive we have write country data and filter country. In filter country we have store filter country list and by using country data we can access filter country data and for list tag text has been get from this country data. This will print filter country list under this tag. Now friends when we have click of this list item text then its text must be transfer out our country text box. So under list tag we have write ng click directive is equal to fill text box function with argument like country data. When we have click on list tag then this fill text box function has been execute and in this function argument we have store country name get from country data argument. So in JavaScript code we have write dollar scope dot fill text box is equal to function with argument string. This way we have defined fill text box function and we can get the country name from this string argument. Under this function we have write dollar scope dot country is equal to string. Here country is model name of country text box and the value of this string argument will be transferred to this country text box. This way we can transfer the country name from list tag to country text box. Now when we have click on list tag then it must be hide from web page. So in on order list tag we have write ng model is equal to hide this and then after we have write ng hit is equal to hide this. Here we have define model to this on order list to hide this and ng hide directive will hide this element if hide this value is equal to true. If this will be true then it will be hide from web page. So in fill text box function we have write dollar scope dot hide this is equal to true. Here we have set the value of this hide this model to true. So ng hide directive will hide on order list tag. Now friends our code is ready for make auto complete text box by using angular javascript application. Friends you can see that one text box on web page and when we have typed some character under this text box then we can show the filter country list according to character which we have type under text box and when we have click on any country name then that country name has been transferred from list tag to text box and then after all country list has been hide from web page. Here we have defined one text box and under JavaScript code we have store all country name in array format and we have execute angular JavaScript function on ng key up directive when we have write something under text box then this function will search country name according to character which we have write under text box from array of country name and by using angular JavaScript directive we have show that filter country list under HTML tag. So friends if you like this video tutorial on how to make auto complete text box by using simple angular javascript, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my youtube channel. Friends you can also like my facebook page also or you can also follow webs listen on twitter.